Hey everybody, uh, this uh, lesson is uh, properties of rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. Oh my. Uh, let's get started here. So here's our question. What are the properties of a rectangle, a rhombus, and a square? So we'll go over those. But before we do, let's go recall about um, uh, parallelograms, you guys. And so these are all parallelograms, by the way. So parallelograms, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. I'll go to this one. Both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. Both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. One pair, either the top and the bottom or the left and the right, one pair is both parallel and congruent. And the big one is diagonals bisect each other. Okay, also, you guys, the uh, consecutive angles are supplementary. So if that was 60 right there, that would be 120. That would be 60. That would be 120 also. Anyways, let's get started with this here. So properties of a rectangle. Well, it's a parallelogram, so all that stuff we just talked about happens. So, um, and then it has four right angles. Okay, so that's what rectangles. Most of you guys are familiar with that. And then the diagonals, you guys, the diagonals are uh, they're congruent to each other. Okay, and then uh, properties of a rhombus. There are all four sides are congruent if it's a rhombus. That's the definition of a rhombus. Okay, it's a parallelogram. The diagonals are perpendicular. The diagonals aren't congruent. Can you see um, that this diagonal right here, can you see that this diagonal right here is shorter than this diagonal? So they're not congruent. But if it's a rhombus, they make a right angle right there. So we can do Pythagorean theorem right there. We can do some angle measures inside of there. The diagonals bisect each angle. So if I said, you know, if it's a rhombus, then this diagonal is bisecting this angle up here. Okay, it's bisecting this angle here. This diagonal, it bisects these angles up here. Let's go back to the rectangle here. Okay, these diagonals, they don't necessarily bisect the angles. Okay, this angle is a little bit smaller than this angle, so it's not being bisected right there. Okay, but it is if it's a rhombus. It bisects the diagonals. Of, uh, the diagonals bisect the angles of a rhombus right there. Okay, squares. Okay, squares have lots of fancy stuff, so it's also a parallelogram. It has four right angles, just like a rectangle does. It, the diagonals are congruent, just like a rectangle. The diagonals uh, are perpendicular, just like a rhombus. And uh, the diagonals also bisect the angles, just like a rhombus. So it cuts those 90s in half, so 45, 45, 90s right there, okay? So basically, a square is both a rhombus and a rectangle, okay? All right, so, um, uh, so let's find each measure here. So here we have, uh, let's go ahead and, and look at stuff here. We have, they're giving us AD, which is this side over here, 7.5, and DC is uh, 10. Find DB. Well, since it's a rectangle, then this diagonal equals this diagonal right here. And do you see this right triangle right here? I can find AC by using the Pythagorean theorem, and whatever AC is, so is DB. So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead and use that Pythagorean theorem, and then... Uh, and and then we can uh, find the length of AC, and then once we find the length of AC, it's going to be the same as DB. So I square uh, the two sides together. The sum of the squares equals the square of the hypotenuse. So this side squared plus this side squared will equal this side squared, okay, which is AC. Okay, so here's 7.5 squared. Here's 10 squared. Okay, we're going to add those together. So we get... Um, 156.25 so square root that and that's what AC is okay so AC which is the same as DB is going to be 12.5 all right okay what about this now they're giving us AB so let's go for, let's go look at AB so that's this top piece right here and BC is this right piece over here 12.75 and they want us to find DB. Well, again, I'm going to use Pythagorean Theorem for this right triangle right here and find AC again. And that's going to be the same length as AB because it's a rectangle. Those diagonals are congruent. Okay, so here we go. So um, uh, add those together and we get that. Then we square root that. And that's what DB will equal, which is the same length as AC. Okay, so... Um, so I get 21.25 when I crank that out. And I'm just saving time on that, you guys, uh, just for this video. Otherwise, they get really they're boring already, and they just get longer and more boring. So anyways, all right, so here, a rhombus, you guys. Remember, rhombus, um, rhombus is, is plural for rhombus. Rhombus makes uh, diagonals perpendicular, so there's a little hidden right angle in right here. Also, this angle here equals this angle right here. 
because the diagonals bisect these angles. So if this is 9n plus 4, so is this 9n plus 4. Or if we're looking, if we can get in, we plug it in right there and double it, and that'll give us the whole entire angle. Or if they're looking for that angle, I just find that angle because the diagonals bisect each other. All right. So let's see. Use a rhombus to find each major. It says xy. Let's find the length of xy. That's down here. Okay, well, since it's a rhombus, you guys, that means this side here equals this side equals this side equals this side. So I'll set this 6m minus 12 equal to 4m plus 4 and solve for m. Okay, so we get m equals 8. And then it's now that's not the answer, you guys. We, it says find the length. This says find the length of xy. So xy is either going to be plug in m equals 8 here or m equals 8 here. I think I did it on this one right here. And xy will be the same as that. Yeah, I did. So 32 plus uh, 4 is 36. All right, now this one here says find the length of or the measure of angle YVW. Here's YVW. So, so what we're going to do is find this angle, double it to get this angle right here. But how do we figure out N? Well, remember the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. So if that's 90, this is 90. So I'm going to set this dude right here equal to 90 right there. Okay, now we're looking for this big old angle right here. So I'm going to highlight that right there. We're looking for that angle. Okay, so uh, the rhombis are, are diagonals are perpendicular. So we can set that 3n, minus, 3N squared minus 75. 0.75 equal to 90, so we're going to add 0.75 to both sides, divide by 3, okay, and then we'll square root that. So when we square root that, we get about, we get 5.5, exactly. Okay, so if, if n equals 5.5, what I'm going to do is plug in n equals 5.5 right here, 9 times 5.5 plus 4, double it, and that's going to get me this blue angle right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So uh, 2 times uh, the quantity 9 times 5.5 plus 4. And when we add those together, we get um, uh, 107 degrees on that, okay? All right. All right, so here's a Venn diagram of all our quadrilaterals so far. I pulled this out of your book right here. So what this says is this big figure is all the quadrilaterals right here. And in the quadrilaterals, we have parallelograms. So all of these inside of here are parallelogram, which are quadrilaterals, because if it's in this circle, then it's in this circle, and this circle, and this circle, and, and this square right here. And I know they're not circles, but... So if, it, if, it, if it's a square, let me grab my mouse here. If it's a square, then it's also a rectangle. It's also a rhombus. It's also a parallelogram, which is a quadrilateral. Okay, if it's a rhombus, some rhombis are, all rhombuses are, are um, parallelograms, which are quadrilaterals, but not all rhombuses are in the square region, okay? And I'm saying with the rectangle, if it's a rectangle, it's also a parallelogram and a quadrilateral, but not all rectangles are squares or rhombis right there because they don't land in there, okay? Anyways, you guys, if you are in uh, my class, that would be your assignment. Take care.